What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, a little shorter form content. Over the weekend I went and saw The Flash and I also watched Extraction 2 so check out the next video for that one. But today we are going to review The Flash in a 1 to 5 score. I left my full review on letterbox.com. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't. Search Big Cam or Cam Carmichael and you'll you'll find all the movies I've watched this year so far and all the reviews I've been leaving on them. And uh, The Flash is a very interesting movie. Right now sitting at a B cinema score. Rotten Tomatoes, the critics rating was 66%. So that means like two thirds of the critics were actually liking this movie which is rare for critics. And the audience score is currently at 86%. So the audience is, is liking it and uh... You know, the internet reviews have been a little bit mixed, but hey, I still think it's been pretty good movie all in all. Like, they did a lot of things right, a few things I didn't like, but, you know, obviously Ezra Miller outside of uh, the, this movie is problematic, but I'm trying to separate the person from the art, because obviously I don't really like the person, but the movie itself and the director and all the people that worked on it, I think is very, very good, you know? It's uh, definitely entertaining and it it captures a flash you know in multiple ways literally um you know and you get the flash you know we haven't really had a flash movie you know he's been in stuff but he hasn't had time to shine himself and time to be with the character and then we finally get time to be with the character and he's with another version of himself which is hard in itself like having two of the same actors on screen at the same time that side of the cgi and that side of the visual effects looked amazing like there's no time at all when both barry's were on screen and you had two ezra's was i like nah that looks bad those that doesn't look like they're interacting I, the whole time i was trying to figure out how the hell did they get a, a body double to be the second Ezra, like, while they're shooting, like, and then make it so perfect. Like, the blocking and the stuff that the director, Andy Muschietti, did. Good for him, man. He he killed it with certain things. You know, and he said that the Chrono Bowl, you know, spoilers for people that haven't seen it. The one part where people are really bitching about with all the flashbacks and all the multiverse stuff. The CGI didn't look polished and perfect. And honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, you know, if they... If they go in After Effects like, you know, D like Disney does and they after they put it on Disney Plus and they polish the, the visual effects and make it look a little bit better than it did when we saw it in theaters. If they go after the fact and just make all of that flashback stuff either artistically more what the director wanted because obviously it's supposed to be like this from Barry's perspective. It's supposed to be kind of warped because he's moving at such a fast pace like you can see all of time happening at once so it's supposed to be like this clay sand watery type of vibe but like it didn't really capture it it kind of just looked like a pg or no like a ps2 freaking editing video game cutscene. like so a lot of people were like the, the the visual effects looked like shit and you know i can't really defend it in in certain spots like that chrono ball you know shit but honestly for me, I gave this movie a three and a half stars out of five, you know, uh, so I don't know why people do ten stars, it's literally just times it by two, so I gave it a seven out of ten, you know, like, in the only reason it's a three and a half star and not a three or a four for me is because I couldn't necessarily give it a four stars, and I couldn't necessarily give it a three stars, so it's... You know, sitting more like a 6-ish, 7-ish out of 10, which is still a very good movie. A movie that I want to see again, not necessarily in theaters. Like, a 4 or 5 star movie for me is a movie that's so good that I'm like, I gotta see it again. It, like, immediately. Whether it's illegally streaming it on the internet or going to the movies again and seeing it. Um, you know, like, Across the Spider-Verse I want to see again so bad. But I'm honestly going to wait for it to come out of the theaters, even though I really want to see it in theaters again. I just, you know, don't have the time. But this movie has been great, you know, like it, it, it did a lot of things right and I, su and I really enjoyed it. I want to know, comment below what you guys think of this movie and uh, what did you think of The Flash and Ezra and all the people in it. You know, Michael Keaton's great, Sasha Cali's great, 
and uh, Ezra did a far better job than I thought he was going to do, and it was much better than I thought. But comment below your thoughts. What do you think of The Flash, and what did you review it out of five stars or even out of ten stars? Comment below your rating. Or at me on Twitter, Big Cam YouTube. My link will be in the description below along with my letterbox link. Go check out all my movie reviews, and I'll see you guys in the future video. And thank you for watching my first movie review. More to come, and I promise <laughs> the next one will be a good one because we're talking Extraction 2.